Praise God. Hallelujah. Hello, beloved church family. Wednesday evening worship service. Oh, praise God. It's so good to be back. Oh, we're so thankful. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. God is head over heels in love with us. He's coming back soon. Amen. Oh, my goodness. The countdown has already begun. I know we know this because we say it all the time. I'll see you in the next half an hour. Glory to God, though. You could just feel it in your bones that it's about to happen, that the trumpet is about to go off at any moment now, at any moment now. And glory to God, I pray, I, I, I pray that his presence is just overflowing through your life, through, through your beloved family, through your house, through all of your family, through this community. The Holy Spirit presence, his anointing, his conviction is stirring and flowing mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. Because I know you, I, you know me. We don't want anybody left behind, right? We don't. But of course, we know that there are going to be. And praise God that we have the ability right now, at this very moment, in worship service, Wednesday evening worship service, that we could just lift up the names of, of those that are on our hearts. Amen. Lift up, li lift up all your family. Hallelujah. Your church family, your, your community, this whole world, we just lift them up. And in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, we pray that there are souls right now, that there's an awakening taking place. Amen. That there's an awakening taking place, praise God. Because I promise you in Jesus' name, we are not going to stop worshiping Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are not going to fall away. Amen. It doesn't matter what this world does. It doesn't matter what happens. Praise God. It doesn't. Jesus Christ is Lord and he is worthy of all of our praises. Praise God. So it doesn't matter who hurt who. Who said what? Who did this? Who did that? The past? Guess what? It's dead and gone in Jesus' name. Can I get an amen? Let's just give God praise. Amen? Say that with me, beloved church family. It's dead and gone in Jesus' name, which means I'm not going to allow this devil to, to torment my thoughts. I'm not going to allow this devil to put division in the kingdom. I'm not going to allow this devil to make me double-minded, right? To, to, to say that, oh, well, I'm a Christian, but I'm going to act differently, right? Rebuke that in Jesus' name. Today is a new day. God is head over heels in love with you. The Holy Spirit wants to bless His holy people. Say with me, here I am. Praise God, here I am. Amen. Don't you love that? We, we were trained ever since we were itty-bitty. When you have a question, right? <laughs> Praise God. When you have a question, right? How about when you have an answer? Right? Who has... I, unfortunately, I didn't really do that too much as far as... Who has the answer to this question? I didn't really do that too much, right? Question, right? And the glory of God is, here is our Heavenly Father, God Almighty. Agape! Amen. One of my favorite shirts. Agape, right? God is asking you, who wants a blessing? Amen. Praise God. I know some of you right now seated. You're raising your feet. Hallelujah. Yes. Father, here I am. Amen. Say that with me, beloved church family. Here I am. Praise God. So hallelujah. Just feel the excitement of Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. Because he chose not to know. And Heavenly Father is about to say, blow the trumpet. Amen. Heavenly Father is about to say, it's time. And glory to God, you could just feel the excitement in heaven. Praise God. You can feel the excitement in all of God's beloved children. All of us worshipers of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Filled with Holy Spirit anointing in the overflow. We all know it's about to happen. Praise God. It's not going to be any surprise to it. No. We know it's about to happen. So I just pray in Jesus' name that you share this enthusiasm, that you share this, this zeal, this, that, that you share this excitement that Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon. And when we have our mindset focused on that, that at any time, this trumpet, can you imagine what this trumpet is going to sound like? And could you imagine the glory of God in being raptured out of here? Oh, hallelujah. And I pray in Jesus' name that we just share Holy Spirit light, amen, through being a blessing to our Father first and loving God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Loving God with everything that we have because when you do that, Holy Spirit in you, 
Hallelujah. In me. In us as one church, as one body in Lord Jesus Christ. In all of us. That his presence goes before us. Amen. Glory to God. I am so excited. Are you? Amen. Praise God. Let's give God praise and let's open up in prayer. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for all of eternity. We thank you, Father. We worship you, Father. We join all your elders, Father God, at your throne room with your creatures right there in the center, Father God, just saying, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. Worthy, worthy is Lord Jesus Christ, your precious lamb, Father God, your holy lamb, your perfect sacrifice. Worthy is the lamb of you, Father God, who was slain. And we thank you so much Lord Jesus Christ, that Holy Spirit, you have sealed us, that you know us by name. We are your holy church, Father. We thank you that your light shines through us and that all your angels, Father God, are around us, protecting us, defending us, Father God, destroying the plots of the enemy and pushing evil far, far, far away. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that we are united in you that we are one in you, Heavenly Father, through what you have done, through Christ our Lord. So Lord Jesus Christ, as we lift up your holy and precious name, we plead your holy blood, Lord Jesus Christ. We bind up every demonic thing, every stronghold, Father, is shattered by the power of your anointing, by the power of your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father God, for this resurrection power, that is in every beloved child of yours, Father. And Father God, as we worship you, Father, bless us with life-changing revelation. Lord Jesus Christ, it's always all about you. Open Arms Community Church is your church, Father. We are your holy people. This is your body, Lord Jesus Christ. We are paid for through your holy blood. And Lord Jesus Christ, we only go through you. So Holy Spirit, teach us for you're our only teacher. And we just thank you so much, Father God, for blessing us with life-changing revelation. It's in Jesus Christ's holy and precious name we pray. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless you guys. Hallelujah. So we're going to be in, in, in just one scripture. Hallelujah. In what Lord Jesus Christ wants us to, to be blameless. Amen. And in, in this being blameless, you receive Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Say with me, it is finished. Amen. Done. Praise God. Done. Isn't that beautiful? That, that's it. Praise God. Now it's time to just bless God. Hallelujah. Thank the Father for Lord Jesus Christ. And as Holy Spirit speaks, as Holy Spirit convicts, amen. Because Holy Spirit will convict as far as what does not belong in the temple. Say with me, I am the temple of God Almighty. Amen? And this is who we are, praise God. And so we're going to spend time in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, chapter 12, verse 13. And it's going to start off simply for by one spirit. Can you say that with me, beloved church family? One spirit. Amen? And I just love how the word confirms the word. The word of God never comes back empty. The word of God always accomplishes what it is set out to do. Amen. You go back to the beginning of time. Praise God. That's just funny right there. I just so excited through my remote. You go back to the beginning of time. Amen. God released the word. He spoke Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He said, let there be light in faith. We serve a faith God. Amen. What is the spirit of faith? I believe, therefore I speak. Amen. See, God believed in you. God believed in me that for such a time as this, we will be lifting up the name of Lord Jesus Christ, blessing our Heavenly Father, being thankful that he created us, that he spoke, let there be light. He believed in his heart. He spoke, let there be light. And that belief, Holy Spirit, manifested the light. Amen. Boom. Hallelujah. Just like when you believed on that glorious day that I need a Savior, that I am not going to hell. I don't want this anymore. Whatever the prayer was, it was a perfect prayer. You know why? We serve a faith God. Holy Spirit has moved on your heart. You believed. Praise God. You spoke, Lord Jesus Christ. 
And immediately what takes place, and in that repentance, salvation has come upon you, upon me. Amen. Salvation was already upon this whole entire world. See, the glory of God is that what Lord Jesus Christ did on that cross, there was a moment in that transaction that took place on that holy cross through the Holy One, Lord Jesus Christ, that at one point, everybody was sinless. Explain. Father, forgive them. Amen? And see, the glory of God, hallelujah, and the perfection of our agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, the glory of Lord Jesus Christ is that forgiveness is eternal. Amen? That forgiveness is eternal. Lord Jesus Christ died for our past, present, and future sin. Glory to God. It is by His grace. Who is grace? Amen. He has a name. Holy Spirit. Amen. Take a breath with me, beloved church family. That is Holy Spirit flowing through the temple of God. You and me. This is who we are as beloved children of God. And it's in this relationship that we have with our Heavenly Father. It's in this repentance when we know that I am no longer my own. That I belong to Father God for all of eternity. I was purchased at the highest cost, at the highest price. And my Lord Jesus Christ owns me. I am property of Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, you live in me. You reign in me. Amen. So say this with me. One Spirit. Amen. One Spirit. The magnitude of what Holy Spirit wants to just reveal and uncover and teach us is to bless us. When I say bless us with life-changing revelation, see, there's, there's revelation that this world deceives us in. Oh, I know that now. Ha <laughs> ha, I got that revelation. I now have that wisdom. But life-changing revelation that only comes through agape is that when Holy Spirit teaches you, when Holy Spirit teaches me, okay, Father, I repent. I thank you, Father, for teaching me. And it's in this transaction, I'm never going back. I'm never going to be the same. Can I get an amen? It's in this repentance when you know, I'm no longer my own. I'm, I'm no longer going to act that way. I'm no longer going to speak that way. Amen? I'm no longer going to do that very thing that Holy Spirit, you said, don't do that. Can I get an amen? Say with me, one spirit. So when we know that we're talking about one spirit, Say this with me, agape, hallelujah. And who is agape? Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. And this is that graphic that you see right behind me. You see the Spirit of the Father, hallelujah, come upon, hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ. And you see what took place in this transaction. And I love it because this beloved picture is above our baptistry, amen. Agape. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, praise God, for Father God Himself to say, this is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased, amen? And you see the anointing of Holy Spirit, hallelujah, light from heaven, hallelujah, has come upon Lord Jesus Christ, amen? And eternally is sealed, agape. And it's Lord Jesus Christ, agape Himself, showing and demonstrating Hallelujah, who God is, amen? Say it with me, one spirit. And of course, in the Son, you see agape, amen? The Father is in the Son, the Son is in the Father, sealed for all of eternity through His Holy Spirit, one spirit. And then you see, of course, Holy Spirit. In the resurrection of the perfect body of Lord Jesus Christ, amen? That the Son had to leave heaven not just to come onto this earth, but the Son had to leave heaven to go into the earth. And the seed of God was planted in this earth. So that whoever believes in the seed, the perfect one, Lord Jesus Christ, we shall share that same seed. And it's in this seed that we are promised the resurrection of Holy Spirit. Say with me, one spirit, and as is being born again, hallelujah, through Holy Spirit. Now I don't want to jump ahead, praise God. Because Holy Spirit is teaching us as far as the power of being one in agape. Amen. And glory to God. Say it with me. I am one in agape.
Amen. I am one in agape, unified in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's get back to the word of God. For by one spirit, we were all baptized. Amen. And I love it because once again, I, I have to. Holy Spirit said, show the picture of agape being baptized. Amen. Now, the beauty of this baptism that Lord Jesus Christ demonstrated wasn't just merely the physical water that you see, right? And of course, that we experience for all of us who have been physically, say it with me, physically baptized. Amen. See, there is a physical showing of baptism that takes place through this physical thing that we can touch and feel called water. Amen. And it's in this process of being baptized that you are completely submerged. Amen. You are completely put under. Praise God. And when you're put under, praise God, it's symbolic of what took place on that glorious day of repentance when you said, I no longer want this world or anything of it. I am sorry, Father, that I sinned against you. I'm sorry, Father. I need a Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. You are my Savior. You died for me. You died for me. And Lord, I ask for your forgiveness. I make you my Lord, my Savior, Lord Jesus. And right there, what took place is that we died in Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Say it with me, in Him. We died in Him. And by the grace and mercy of God, grace has a name, through the power of Holy Spirit, He resurrects us out, hallelujah, out of death. Amen. Amen. See, you already died. Glory to God. Now, I know I'm talking to some people that may be. Maybe somebody encouraged you to listen to this message. Yes, glory to God. God is speaking to you right now. Quit running. Amen. Quit running. You have a God that loves you, a Father that loves you. There's many of us, men, women, that we grew up without a, a, an earthly dad. Well, guess what? The enemy tried his best to deceive us, to think that we didn't belong. But guess what? We belong to heaven. We belong to the heavenly Father. Amen. And the Heavenly Father right now saying, quit running, my child, and just receive my gift to you. This eternal gift of salvation that is only carried through the perfect body of Lord Jesus Christ. Will you receive Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? I pray you do. I pray you do. Because believe you me, there, there's, there's not enough time left. I pray in Jesus' name that you say, Father, just, just stop the video. Just drop on your knees. If you, want, if you want the video to keep going, just do it right now. Just drop on your knees and say, Lord, forgive me. I receive you, Lord Jesus Christ. I don't want to run no more. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to be separated from you. I don't want to live life without you anymore, Father. And glory to God is in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, in the Lordship of Lord Jesus Christ, one spirit, that true baptism takes place. That true baptism takes place. You died in Lord Jesus Christ. And Holy Spirit now raises you, hallelujah, raises you in the newness of life. This is what we call born again, amen? Say with me, I am born again, hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, beloved church family, we're clapping for those souls right now, amen? We're clapping for those souls right now who have made the choice. There's some right now that as we started clapping, conviction came upon their heart. And they're going down to their knees right now and saying, Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me. I need you in my life. I make you my Lord and my Savior. I die in you, Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, bless me with a new life. Holy Spirit, thank you for raising me from the dead. And I will never die in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise. Praise God. Let's move on. For by one Spirit, we were all baptized into one body glory to god and i know i jumped ahead a little bit hallelujah say it with me it's okay praise god because this one body that we're talking about is the only body amen the only way the only truth the only life the only one good hallelujah lord jesus christ said there's only one good god almighty who is agape father son holy spirit one spirit Amen. One body, one God. Hallelujah. And it's in this one body that we are crucified in. And it's only through this one body. Say his name, Lord Jesus Christ. It's only through Lord Jesus Christ that we can experience the oneness with God Almighty. 
Listen, beloved church family, there's many, many religions now. Spiritualism is a trending topic now, right? There's all these different weird, goofy things going on right now. I encourage you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, nothing, nothing, nothing can come against Father God, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, God Almighty, amen? So rebuke any of that garbage that you hear about, you know, breaking up the Godhead and you don't need this and, you know, this isn't here anymore and this, rebuke that in Jesus' name. Protect your anointing, your seal, Holy Spirit in you, amen? And you don't judge nobody, you just pray for them. This is the power that Lord Jesus Christ give us, that we don't need to be a part of darkness, that we don't need to be a part of the idolatry, that we don't need to be a part of the drama and the chaos, that we are here to be the light of Lord Jesus Christ and to pray, to plead the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, amen? And to lift up souls that are struggling, amen? And I believe and declare in Jesus' name that as you, as you call on the name of Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit already knows who you're lifting up. And His light will penetrate them and pierce them. Hallelujah. And the conviction of God Almighty, our living God, the only one and true God, the Alpha and Omega, Father God, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, Agape, that His presence will convict and save in Jesus' name. You believe that? Hallelujah. I believe that with you in Jesus' name. Amen. God is good all the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. How is that? How is that? How is that? It's His presence. Amen. Holy Spirit in you and in me. Praise God. What we just experienced this past Sunday. How Holy Spirit just wants to flow. Amen. So that the potter can do His work. Amen. So that the master can, can mold us and continue to do so. Amen. Praise God. I choose to be saturated. Amen. Drenched with Holy Spirit. Do you? Amen. I know you do. Praise God. Hallelujah. Say it with me. One body. Amen. For by one spirit, we were all baptized. Now remember, baptism. Baptism. Amen. For many of us that have experienced it, whether you were little, it doesn't matter. Remember the water. Praise God. Here is Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Here's Holy Spirit ministering through the Apostle Paul, speaking to the church of Corinth. Just letting everybody know, look, as you can see this water, as you can see the baptisms taking place, it is through this one spirit, amen, it's through this one spirit, and in this one spirit, the one spirit sent the one body, his name is Lord Jesus Christ, so that we can be baptized, that we can die in Lord Jesus Christ. And as we die in Lord Jesus Christ, it's through this one spirit that he will bless you with life everlasting in this new breath in agape. Amen. Praise God. Whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free, we all are made to. Come on now. We all are made to. You remember this graphic that we discussed on Sunday. The power and anointing of Lord Jesus Christ. You say you serve agape. You say that God is God Almighty. The Holy Spirit lives in you. You say that you're saved. Amen. That's what I say. Amen. That I'm saved by grace through the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace has a name. His name is Holy Spirit. Amen. Faith. My faith has a name. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. I say that I am saved. I say that agape is my God. Amen. I say all this. But yet, in my eyes, I can judge people, or there's racism, right? Or there's haughtiness and pride and all that stuff. That's not agape. It's not. There's darkness. And that right there is God is asking, will you give that to me? Because I have nothing to do with that. So I say that I worship agape. That I am a beloved child of God. Jesus Christ is my Lord. Holy Spirit is in my every breath. And all I want to do is bless God Almighty. All I want to do is just is, is, is love God first with everything that I have. And allow Him to live in my life. And now I view every brother and sister as a beloved child of God. 
I view every, every soul, every soul, as a beloved child of God that Lord Jesus Christ died for. That I, that I don't see race or religion. I don't see none of that. I just see a beloved child of God. And that no matter what a beloved child of God does to me, to hurt me, offend me, whatever it is, that my focus is, I bless you, Lord, and I thank you that you saved me. And I love you, Father, with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. And I know as I say this, and I confess it out, Holy Spirit, you know exactly what's happening in my life. You already knew who was going to hurt me. You already knew what was going to take place. But Father, as I let it go at your altar, I trust in you, Lord, that you take care of it. Because all you want me to do is to worship you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's give God praise for that. Amen. So remember, in this graphic that we saw on Sunday... By the grace of God Almighty, through Lord Jesus Christ, this is why this world, this fallen world, this evil world, that's why it hates the name of Lord Jesus Christ. That's why this world does not know Holy Spirit and wants nothing to do with Holy Spirit. You know why? Because the demons of this world, Satan himself, wants to control through spiritual warfare. Wants to control souls through spiritual bondage. But the freedom comes only through this one way. The absolute truth. And the only life through Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And it's in this name above every name. That as a beloved child of God. When you call upon Lord Jesus Christ. And you surrender every thought. And you just know that God loves you. God loves you right now just the way you are. And it's in this worship that Holy Spirit will bless you with life-changing revelation, this is when you know, God, I am made to worship you. I am made for this very special purpose to bless you. And as we discuss, praise God, in worship on Sunday, it's having this life-changing revelation that when the blood of Lord Jesus Christ is applied in your life, in my life, you're no longer lost, amen? I am recovered through the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I am recovered. Amen. And it's in this being mindful of Lord Jesus and being mindful as far as what God did to create us. Can you imagine, beloved church family, what God went through just to create you? Mm. Hallelujah. That was my devotional this morning. Father God says, do you know what I went through? To create you? And it's being mindful of this in, in complete repentance. But Father, I just want to bless you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. You know everything. You are God Almighty. You, you know everything. And Father, I know nothing. I just want to bless you and say thank you. That Lord Jesus Christ, you would save me. And that you would live now through me for all of eternity. Amen. Amen. Let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Say it with me. I am treasure. Hallelujah. I am treasure. See, the beauty of this graphic is that the life-changing revelation doesn't come based on out there. See, that's what the world wants to deceive us in. Oh, if you could finally get this job. You're going to be fulfilled. Oh, if you finally get that boyfriend that you've been wanting. Oh, you're, you're finally going to be happy. Oh, if you finally buy that house, you're going to be happy. Oh, you if you finally just get that car or that truck, right, you're going to be happy. Or if you could just finally find that one church that the pastor's not so loud and, 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 and excited, you're going to be happy. All God is saying is, will you come to me? And I will fulfill your joy and your happiness through my salvation. Who is my salvation? Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And don't you love it when we worship Lord Jesus Christ and our Holy Spirit would minister and preach and teach. It's all Holy Spirit that we, we just. And that's the glory of God right there. 
There's no more words to be said. Jesus Christ is Lord, and now God lives in you and in me. And what are we going to do with that treasure? Amen, beloved church family? What are we going to do with that treasure that is in us? First of all, do we realize that we are treasure? Right? Or do we continue to speak curses? Do we continue to blaspheme God and not realize that we are the temple of God? And it's in this revelation through repentance that I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father God, that you own me. I am property of Lord Jesus Christ. And the Holy Spirit, you live in me. And all I want, Father, is your presence to just flow and overflow mightily through my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah, praise God. For by one spirit, we were all baptized into one body, resurrected in Lord Jesus Christ. So whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free, we were all made to drink, hallelujah, of one spirit. Now don't you love, once again, we're just simply just going over this because Holy Spirit said so, amen. Don't you love how the word confirms the word? Look at that. For by one spirit, all this took place. Lord Jesus Christ left heaven, amen. All in this scripture right here, praise God. All just right here in this snapshot that Holy Spirit give us right now for such a time as this in year 2020. Amen. Can you believe it? My goodness. They're already taking, they're already putting out Halloween stuff in, in Walmart and the stores. It's already, it, I mean, it's already, my goodness. September is almost over already. I mean, autumn is here, right? Praise God. It's the harvest season. Amen. Listen to what Holy Spirit's saying, right? What do we do in the harvest, right? Well, if, you, if, if you're a farmer, right, you, you start gathering. Amen. What is approaching us right now? The trumpet, the rapture. And right now, God is gathering all the souls that want him. I pray in Jesus' name. Say it with me, beloved church family. And we're going to say this together on the count of three. Because as we say this, we believe and declare in the name above every name, Lord Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit's power through our voice will wake up every soul that's in our heart right now that we're lifting up for them to wake up. And that's what we're going to say is wake up. Amen. On the count of three. One, two, three. Wake up. Amen. Wake up. The time is short. You don't want to be left behind. And I just thank you, Father God, for blessing us with this life-changing revelation in Jesus' name. Amen. So we drink of this one spirit. This one spirit, once again, goes back to the beginning. And glory to God, we know that we're all right now. In this vapor of a life, we're soon to be raptured. We all, hallelujah, we all are overflowing through the waters, the living waters, from the throne room of heaven, from the throne room of Father God, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, within the Holy of Holies. Amen. Glory to God. I pray that this message bless your socks off. Amen. That as we, as we worship Lord Jesus Christ, that we continue to, to, to just be unfamiliar with God and just say this with me, push through. Amen. Don't fall away, beloved church family. You know, don't be distracted by those that are falling away. Don't. Because I'm going to tell you right now, wolves, in sheep clothing, they do their best to be counterfeits. They do their best to be friendly and loving and, uh, and outgoing and charismatic and all this stuff that you can think of. But it's only through Holy Spirit in your worship that you'll be able to discern based on their fruit. Amen. And I ask you, I ask you in Jesus' name, don't be distracted by those who fall away. Don't be distracted by those that they're just doing whatever the, the, the world tells them to or whatever their feelings are, their emotions. Don't be distracted. When I say this word distracted, don't allow judgment and darkness to come in. Can I get an amen? Pray for them. Yes, love on them. But don't allow that darkness to come in to hinder your relationship with Father God. Bless Holy Spirit Protect Holy Spirit. Amen. And allow His presence to lead you and guide you and for His fruit to overflow in your life. 
in your house, in your children. Amen. I speak to the youth. I speak to any age. Amen. Love and honor one another. Amen. You cannot say that you are a child of God if you don't honor your parents. If you continuously speak bad about your parents or disrespect your parents or disobey, I question, and God give me the authority right now to say this to whoever has ears to listen. I question your salvation. And I ask you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, you go to God and say, Father, examine me, O Lord. Examine me, change me, Father God. Because I don't want this devil, I don't want this deception, I don't want this unforgiveness to have anything to do with my identity in you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Let us be a blessing to God first, loving Him with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and allowing Holy Spirit, because when you love God with everything, as Lord Jesus Christ commanded us to do, when you love God with everything, Holy Spirit in you will lead you, guide you, and give you the power and anointing to do the good work in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you receive that? Praise God. I receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for all of eternity for Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you. I pray, Father, that all of heaven is just overflowing with all of our praises lifting up your name, Lord Jesus Christ, being thankful. And Holy Spirit, I thank you that the kingdom of heaven lives within us and that you, Holy Spirit, you reign in our lives. Holy Spirit, this is your church, Open Arms Community Church, Father God. We are your holy people paid for through the only way, the only truth, the only life, Lord Jesus Christ. And thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for this abundant life that you live through us. Through the anointing, the presence of you, Holy Spirit. Father God, thank you so much for blessing us beyond comprehension. Thank you, Father God, for forgiving us of where we fail you. We are sorry, Father. Change us, change me, Lord. Continue to change me, Father. I'm just so thankful. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father God, for blessing all those, Father God who has heard your word, and above all, who is blessing you, Father, with all of their love, through all of their heart, soul, mind, and strength. Thank you, Father God. It's in Jesus Christ's holy and precious name we pray, and all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. Give me five. Praise God. Give your loved ones a high five, amen. If you're by yourself, you're never alone, give Holy Spirit a high five. And don't forget the angels of God that are all around you and your family and going before you in Jesus' name, amen. Double high fives. Praise God. Love you so much, beloved church family. Praise God. Remember, if you did not get, your, get a chance to sow your seed into the kingdom of God, you can give at oacchurch.com. oacchurch.com. And you can give through PayPal. It is secure. Amen. And we just want to say thank you so much for blessing God with your first fruits. Hallelujah. You cannot outgive our Heavenly Father. Look at Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And I just want to say thank you so much for supporting your beloved church. Hallelujah. This is Holy Spirit's church. Amen. And we're just so thankful for all y'all. Amen. Love you all so, so very much. Oh, I'm so excited, so thankful. Amen. If I don't see you Sunday, Praise God, I'll see you in the next half an hour, amen. We love you all so, so very much. God bless you all in the abundance, in Jesus' name, amen. Mwah.